people contact me and they say how important water is for them. And it is, you know, and that what you see now is the people worldwide is realizing how important taking the right water is. It really does need to be alkaline water. It really does, it does make a difference. We only have two ingredients, purified water and pink Himalayan rock salt. In addition to that, we've established a very clean taste profile. And that is really established by our 8.8 .8 pH, the ionization process, and the addition of the pink Himalayan rock salt. Consumers are hungry for unique, healthy alternatives, particularly enhanced waters, and we're the fastest growing water in the enhanced water category. The Alkaline Water Company, Inc. is a sponsor and client to PinnacleDigest.com. Both PinnacleDigest.com's parent company and its president own shares and warrants of the Alkaline Water Company, Inc. In 2017, bottled water overtook soda as the number one consumed drink in America, a culmination of factors from educated, health-conscious consumers to mandated healthier choices have led us here. Sugar-filled bottled drinks led by soda are dying a slow death. Annual consumption of soda is at a 30-year low and heading lower. From our perspective, this has created a generational opportunity for well-positioned bottled water brands. Consider this, annual bottled water consumption has increased from 1.6 gallons per person in 1976 to 16.7 gallons in 2000 to a whopping 42.4 estimated gallons per person in 2018. From this growth, the bottled water industry has swelled to over 15 billion and appears to have nowhere to go but up. As a result, and not surprisingly, the world's preeminent names in the soda industry, Coca-Cola and PepsiCo, have become huge players in the bottled water industry. Business Insider reported in 2016 that there is major room for growth in the bottled water sector, especially as companies best known for soda try to showcase a healthier and more diverse array of beverages. We believe the space is ripe for consolidation via acquisitions of unique market offerings that demonstrate consistent and substantial top-line growth. One water company believes water can be more than just filtered and distilled. It should be healthful hydration crafted with key minerals and pH balance. In our ever-increasing acidic world, many are choosing to eat alkaline-rich foods and drink alkaline water to achieve a more natural pH balance. But we are certainly not doctors or nutritionists. This approach makes sense to us. We're in Southern California to learn about Alkaline 88 and how it's done a fantastic job branding itself as the alkaline water company in America. Easily available, its water is carried in over 40,000 locations in all 50 states. Needless to say, its distribution is impressive for a company few investors have likely heard of. Frank, thanks for having us down in Southern California. We've been to a number of different stores. Alkaline 88 is everywhere on the shelves. When a consumer walks into a store, what makes them reach out and choose Alkaline 88? Well, first of all, our name. Our name is in the brand, and that's a great advantage that we have. Second of all, product uniqueness. Um, we were the first to come out with a bulk alkaline water that delivered not only great tasting alkaline water, but the best value in the category. And it just continues to build and build. As the national sales manager, you're on the front lines dealing directly with the retailers and grocers. What's the feedback been like over the past few quarters? Well, it's really been tremendous. Um, our growth, uh, you know, I think three years ago we were in about 25,000 stores. Today we're in over 40,000 stores and growing and growing. We've added major chains uh, nationally like Kroger, Walmart. So it's been very exciting. Response from the category managers in the marketplace has really been outstanding. Can we just come back to the brand for a minute and just try to make us understand why you guys have been growing so fast? Well, first of all, I believe right product at the right time. Mm -hmm. Consumers are hungry for unique, healthy alternatives, particularly enhanced waters, and we're the fastest growing water in the enhanced water category. Mm -hmm. So we've done tremendous that way. So right product, right time, and best value in the alkaline water. You mentioned earlier you guys tend to work with the retailers. Can you talk about how that also gives you a competitive edge? Well, flexibility gives us a competitive edge. We react to our retailers' needs. When we meet with our retailers, we sit down with them, we find out what's important to them, and we design chain-specific programs for them. And uh, it's really worked well for us. We get great loyalty from the people that buy our product, not only from the consumer, but from 
the category managers that buy our product because they know that we're going to support them on their key initiatives. We're talking about the brand and what moves people to buy this water. What else fits into the equation? I think one of our key advantages is the fact that we enhance our water uh, with Himalayan minerals and electrolytes. Mm. Uh, we're the only brand on the market that does that and consumers love Himalayan minerals. The purest known to man, really. So that's an exciting part for us. Now we're off to visit one of the company's production lines in Houston, where Alkaline 88 has a co-packing agreement with Texas-based Seaforce Bottling. Let's go. After a three hour flight from LA, we've arrived in Houston, ready to see how Alkaline 88 water is bottled and shipped. It is important to know how a company of this nature handles large volumes and distribution. The Alkaline 88 water team consists of dedicated beverage professionals, scientists, and water engineers who've been studying the health benefits of alkaline water for the past 14 years. Alkaline 88 has a co-packing agreement with Texas-based Seaforce Bottling, strategically located in Navasota, less than two hours from Houston. Seaforce is an iconic brand led by Gina and Chuck Norris. Both Gina and Chuck have been proponents of bottled water for years, and we will speak with them shortly. First, we'll meet with Alkaline 88's co-founder and CEO, Ricky Wright. Mr. Wright is a former regional director of tax and financial planning with one of the big four accounting firms. In 2008, Mr. Wright became the CFO for PCT International. PCT is the leading worldwide developer and manufacturer of last mile and access network solutions, with manufacturing plants in the USA and China and sales in 42 countries. Mr. Wright knows how to run a successful business, and that's evident in Alkaline 88's top line growth. In May, the company reported record sales for a single month, exceeding 2.9 million. Ricky, you've been around businesses virtually your entire working life. What's been instrumental for Alkaline 88 in terms of its revenue growth of late? Well, in the last couple of months, we've been lucky enough to gather two of the largest retailers in the world, Walmart and Kroger, which is obviously adding to our top line growth. And in addition to that, our year over year growth in the current stores that we've been in, is up over 50%. And finally, and most importantly, we've been able to acquire the capital necessary for that growth. Now the bottling water industry is growing quite fast by itself, but you guys are outpacing even that growth. Can you speak to why that might be? Well, you know, we got lucky. We're in the right place, the right time with the right product. Alkaline water happens to be accounting for about 80% of the growth in the, in the entire segment of filled enhanced water. And we're number two in that space and we've been growing constantly with the space. As you mentioned, revenues continue to pick up. Record revenue, first two months of fiscal year 2019. Can you talk about where you see that going? Okay, so first of all, we are gonna surpass eight million for the first quarter, which is gonna be great. It puts us on about a $32 million run rate. However, this last month, we our purchase orders were over three million, which it obviously expanded as the $40 million rate that we're looking for. How do you manage that? You know, we talked earlier, there's not too many full-time employees. How do you get to that number? Uh, well, we have 14 employees, so we average about $2 million plus per employee not currently, uh, which is one of the highest in the industry. The industry averages about 260000 and we use a variable cost model. Okay. So you're standing in a co-packing facility. Uh, all we brought in here was our equipment, and we don't have any of the overhead or any of the cost. So we pay them for every case that they produce. Yeah. We also use a broker network. And so by using a broker network, we pay our brokers approximately 5%. Right. So we're only paying people when they're working for us. It's a variable cost model. When they make a sale. When they're making a sale or when they're producing a bottle of water. And how many brokers do you have nationwide? There's about 1,500 people that are hitting the streets for us every day. Branding, marketing, it's vital in the bottled water industry. How are you guys trying to establish yourself as a national brand? Well, you know, again, one of the things we did early on, which nobody was on top of, is that we were able to trademark the name Alkaline 88. And that gave us a tremendous advantage. I call it identifying branding. You know, the, the brand that I chose to model ourselves after was Five Hour Energy. The bottle telegraphs itself to the consumer. And because of that, we've spent zero dollars in actually marketing the brand because the consumer already knows what they're buying when they pick it up. As a consumer myself, there's a number of different alkaline waters on the market. How do you guys go about differentiating yourselves? Well, number one's the brand. Yeah. And number two is that we are a very clean label. We only have two ingredients. Purified water and pink Himalayan rock salt. In addition to that, we've established a very clean taste profile. And that is really established by our 8.8 pH, the ionization process, 
and the addition of the pink Himalayan rock salt, which is only about five milligrams. So it's not like a high sodium product. Are there any other advantages in terms of the bottling format for Alkaline 88? Yeah, one of the things that we control, we dominate, is what we call the bulk water sector, the gallon of three liters. There's nobody in the country that's within 5% of our sales volume. I would venture to guess within 2% of our sales volume in that arena. What is really driving that is that the consumer that purchases our bottle is usually a health conscious consumer, an environmentally conscious consumer, and so they're taking our gallon and pouring it into their own flask. And obviously it's recyclable. And we use the PET number one, yeah. fully recyclable. In addition to that, you know, I think we have a competitive advantage because our price point on a per ounce basis is about half of our competitors when you're buying in the bulk bottle. What you see to my left is Alkaline 88's proprietary technology installed at every co-packaging facility across the country. Just a short drive from the bottling facility is the Lone Wolf Ranch, home to Gina and Chuck Norris. Chuck needs no introduction as a movie star and world champion martial artist. He is a true American legend. For decades, he has symbolized health and toughness in America. As mentioned, the Alkaline Water Company has a co-packaging agreement with Seaforce. After a short tour of the ranch, I met up with the couple. Gina, Chuck, thanks so much for having us out to the Lone Wolf Ranch here. Uh, Gina, as CEO of Seaforce, you've been successful in navigating the bottled water industry for years. Can you talk about how you've seen demand change in that time? Well, just forming Seaforce Bottling Company, obviously we know that people are tending to get away from drinking sugary sodas and things like that, and water really is becoming the new oil, as we say here in Texas. Right. But because we have a pristine water source right here on our ranch, it just seemed appropriate to go into the bottling industry but we live a very healthy life anyway yeah. and we drink bottled water we don't drink soda mm -hmm. so it's it really is a natural fit for us besides that Seaforce bottling company is a woman-owned business so yeah. I kind of have to brag on that a little bit no yeah. absolutely Chuck your brands all about toughness healthy living and inspiring others is that why you got into bottled water water is very important to me okay. you know because I drink a lot of water you have to when I did movies, and of course when I did my martial arts, it, you know, drinking water was very important. And a access to premium water for But back then, probably, the, in that time, they don't, didn't even recognize what the difference would be between good premium water, alkaline water, and how important it is to keep your pH high. Yeah. I mean, I, every single day, check my pH mm -hmm. all throughout the day because I actually feel better when my pH is high. Yeah. And with Alkaline 88, mm -hmm. I like to brag and say that we actually fill yeah. our coffee pod yeah. with Alkaline 88 water okay. because coffee is acidic yeah. and the Alkaline 88 water yeah, is, it's, it's more than balanced. Yeah. It's a very, very healthy level and mm -hmm. so it balances the two out. And we feel exceptional. Coffee's good, but this water makes it even better. You've worked with Ricky and the Alkaline Water Company for some time. What's that working relationship been like? So they have been just the best kind of partner. We don't even look at it as a business working relationship. I mean, it literally is a partnership. They have the most unbelievable team mm -hmm. ever. They are strategic mm -hmm. and they're purposeful with everything that they do. Their business model is just completely stellar, right. but they have been so good to us. They have helped us, obviously, as much as we have helped them. So it, it, it's a win-win for both of us. Uh, what I admire about them is that they're so focused on and intentional on what they're doing with this brand. Okay. And they have been able to just become the dominant leader mm -hmm. in the alkaline water category yeah. because of it. People are becoming, taking their health into their own hands, right. and they're really paying attention to those things. But, the other thing that, that has been successful, I believe, for Alkaline 88, mm -hmm. and they're very, very smart to do this, they are in a niche that nobody else is in. So they have great water, mm -hmm. but they also have a price point yeah. that is very appealing mm -hmm. to the masses. Mm -hmm. and, and that's important. I don't think that people should have to go to the grocery store yeah. and pay an exorbitant amount of money for something that we all need to survive. Yeah. So they, like I said, their business model and their, their mission statement and everything that they stand for, it's just, it's at the top of its class. So whether it's Alkaline Water, Premium or Artesian, you see demand just trending upwards. It's going to continue to go upwards. I mean, 
the soda is on its way out yeah. and I'm not here, obviously we're not here to bash that industry, right? But water is here to stay. We mm -hmm. need, our bodies need water. Yeah, to live. They just need water to live. Yeah, writing my weekly article, you know, a lot of people contact me and they, they say how important water is for them. And it is, you know, and that what you see now is the people worldwide is realizing how important you taking the right water yeah. in your system. Yes. Yeah. But choosing the right type of water. Exactly. Just any old water. It, it really does need to be alkaline water. It really does. It does make a difference. Yeah. I believe that too. Guys, it's been a lot of fun. Thanks for showing us around. Thanks, thanks very much. You bet, buddy. Thank Sean. you. Rick is an impressive warehouse, pallets and pallets of three liter, one gallon alkaline water. Can you talk about uh, what percentage of sales they make up for you? Well, the bulk of our sales are done in the bulk water. We do about 90% in the <laughs> gallons and three liters. Right. Uh, you know, one of the things that makes this very good is that we have very clean labeling. Yeah. As you can see, as I mentioned before, yeah. only purified water and pink Himalayan rock salt. And then the killer is people love the handle. Yeah. Makes it handy in the refrigerator, yeah. able to pick it up. Grab and pour it in, exactly. So the Alkaline Water Company has been performing well in the first half of 2018. Where do you see the Alkaline Water Company going? I'll hold the baby. Okay. <laughs> so, you know, we're, we're at kind of a critical juncture within the company. Right. Uh, we're in all 50 states now. Yeah. We're in over 40,000 stores. We think we'll do about $40 million this year in sales. At that point in time, we are now known as a national brand. At that point in time, we can expect some sort of interest from outsiders mm -hmm. at potentially an acquisition. However, I am critically focused and our staff is critically focused on staying to, to plan. So we will continue to grow in the grocery channel. We're now in about 80% of it. Mm -hmm. So we plan to finish that up this year. In addition, we plan to expand into other classes of trades, which include drugstores, C stores, and big box stores. Right, and is there something significant about that 40 million in terms of majors? identifying you as a major brand? Well, that's it. They now identify you as a national brand, which is their key. Because they can take your national footprint where the consumer is already aware of the brand yeah. and expand it instantly with their current networks in place. This Seaforce bottling facility is one of many across the country. What kind of advantage does that give you guys? Uh, one of the big advantages is the fact that we are now within 96% of the country, we're within 600 miles. So our freight cost is a big advantage relative to our competitors. As our tour comes to an end here, do you have any closing comments with respect to the Alpine Water Company? Well, first I'd like to thank Seaforce for being a great host today yeah. and having us here and allowing us to come to film. But second of all, yes, we are very focused on hitting our numbers. Mm -hmm. uh, we sit every day as an operational company first and worry about what the future happens. We're a growth story and we're gonna do 55% growth last year. We're gonna do 100% growth this year and God bless we hope to exceed that the following year. Ricky, thanks for having us. It's been a real pleasure. Thank you. As we've seen, bottled water is big business. The major players, being Nestle, Coca-Cola, and PepsiCo, are focused on the space. Everywhere you look, people are drinking bottled water. Drinking unhealthy, sugar-filled drinks have become passe. While bottled water consumption continues to grow rapidly, forecasted to grow at a CAGR of 7.9% during the period 2017 to 2021, according to Report Buyer. They also state the key market drivers for the space are increasing premiumization in bottled water, and key trends being increased demand for bottled water with added minerals. We will be closely following the Alkaline Water Company and its Alkaline 88 brand. After putting out record sales numbers over the past few months, the company's only looking to increase its market penetration.